Hello boys and girls, back with the Subaru. We got what, part 15 now. Today I'm gonna attempt to prime the engine with oil, which turns out it's not gonna be easy. So stay tuned as we continue the EJ25 build. So this is what I got, already diluted blue coolant. This is good for mostly Asian cars, Subarus, all nine and up but uh, the black is the same in uh, older models all the way up to 04 even probably before so it's okay it's safe for older Subarus I do have some old well not old but uh, green coolant in the reservoir tank I should probably drain that out Here, just clean this up there was actually a lot of quite a lot of dirt all all here on this wall on the inside and on the bottom looks much better sprayed brake cleaner all around a few times shook it a few times then filled it with water a few times and it's like new all right that's fine i'm gonna keep the cap on it but i'm not gonna close it all the way just so it sits on it, so there's uh, air coming out. I'm also gonna change the oil filter before I fill, fill it up with oil to this cheap, cheapest one possible. Where we are gonna be changing the oil, uh, you know, start it, run it for a little bit, see if everything's okay, and then it's gonna get its first oil change. Because the oil filter that's on there now, it's mobile one, it's a bit more expensive. That one I'm gonna use for another maybe 500 miles or so on the second oil change. I also fill this up about halfway with oil. 530 regular oil, pens oil. It's one of those oils where it doesn't have many additives. That's what you want for your very first oil for braking. I'm halfway on the dipstick, which is fine. Okay, got a wire, well, I got my oil pressure gauge already wired. I, that sensor that I installed a while back, that's what it was for. Just gotta plug it in and hope it works. All right, got coolant, got oil. Been charging the battery overnight. Yeah, make sure your battery is fully charged before you start cranking. Now, I don't have to worry about uh, the car or the engine starting because the fuel pump is just disconnected that's why i didn't connect it but in your case if you if you if you're not replacing the fuel pump all you got to do is disconnect the crank sensor which is right here this way the engine will not start before you have oil pressure okay ignition on got my new oil pressure gauge we're gonna watch that I'm going to watch this oil light right there. Uh, pressing the clutch. New clutch feels pretty firm. Much, well, not much, but it is harder to press than stock. All right, let's give it a crank. stop right here give the starter a rest don't want to kill it I gotta mount this gauge well it sounds good like there's compression
take three. Come on, oil pump. I'm gonna give it a longer rest. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna unmarry the Access 2.0. I have no idea how to do it. Oh shit, cops! Okay, remove access port from vehicle. I guess so. Connect the green test mode connectors. The connectors are typically found under the driver's side dash. Okay. Not sure what they mean. Okay, found the plug. It's these guys. It was actually pretty difficult to connect these two, the green plug there. But it's doing it, so it's working. I'm using the uh, iPads stickers to mount the gauge. There we go. You can see these two, the light is a little bit dull compared to the brand new one. But it's not really noticeable. Oh man, now I gotta disconnect that plug. Connectors are disconnected. Uninstall successful. Please turn ignition key to the off position. Okay. I guess that's it. Let's try cranking it again. Not sure why it's taking so long. A minute or two maybe. And well it's been it's been maybe a minute of cranking. So it probably needs one more minute. Okay guys, so I'm a bit worried at this point. Been cranking it for what about two minutes? I'm gonna unscrew the filter. I did fill it up with oil and see if any oil comes out should have some build up okay nothing is coming out that's not good this is dry there's actually no oil in there so nothing came out, which is weird, but what's weirder is that there is no oil in the filter. I did <laughs> fill it up halfway, or maybe even more than halfway, and it somehow got sucked out. Okie dokie. As you can see, the car is apart again because I didn't get oil pressure. Now I took the oil pan off, as you can see here. I bent it to hell anyways because of the RTV it was glued to the block and there's limited room where I can take a you know a chisel or something and nicely pry it off that wasn't wasn't uh, happening so I just kind of got pissed off and uh, shoved a uh, screwdriver and ripped it off and that's why here you go, that's why it's all bent. So that's probably gonna be new. And I'm gonna get an, a WRX pen, which doesn't have this dent right here, so it holds more oil, which is good. Anyway, so I, I took this off to check the oil pickup tube, and this is good. I remembered to put the oil seal here. 
so this was good, which is bad news. I was hoping that was going to be it. So that's why I had to take the timing off to get to the oil pump. So this is the next step to see if that spring is functional inside the pump. That's what creates pressure. I may have a faulty oil pump. So this is actually pretty dry, this spring. There is some oil here, but that could have been from assembly. All right, the pump is out and it's dry. I'm gonna take this apart and look at the actual pump. So I can break these open. Oh man, these are tough. Oh man, I don't know. So I had to sleep on it. Didn't get much sleep. Many thoughts going through my head what may be wrong. The pump looks good mechanically. You know, no parts missing. You know, all the, all the important stuff are, is, is there <clears throat> inside the pump. I didn't miss any seals. The pickup tube, it's not clogged. I didn't miss the C on the pickup tube. So the only thing that's left is that there was just air inside the pump and it would not prime on its own. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack it. This is a, this is, there's an old trick to pack the pump with Vaseline. I can use uh, Vaseline, I can use assembly lube, I can use um, you know thick oil, basically fill this area up with something. Vaseline is petroleum based so it will mix, uh, once it's uh, heated up it will mix with the oil and basically disappear. So here you go, some Vaseline. So what I'm gonna do, I need to make sure that, because uh, I'm, I'm gonna put RTV on the pump. So once I get it up like this, the oil will not come out and interfere with the RTV. So I'm thinking maybe just pack it in here and uh, put a little bit of oil down there. So it kind of fills up quickly. You know, I think that's enough for Vaseline because it is cold. I'm just gonna fill it up with with uh, assembly lube here. Okay, now the plate. Now I need to make sure this plate will sit true on the pump and I am gonna use a tiny tiny amount of blue Loctite on these screws I don't want the Loctite to come up under the screw here I need to make sure that the screw goes all the way down so the Loctite will only be applied to the bottom thread this should be enough okay just a little bit these do like to back out
and right before putting it on I'm gonna just fill it up with oil right in there so this sucks yeah had to take the timing belt off a few uh, pulleys tensioner obviously the the cover the alternator belt the the radiator all that had to come out to get to the oil pump now I gotta clean off the RTV remember to put the seal back on fill it up with coolant actually what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna fill it up with coolant I'm just gonna put um, finish the timing fill it up with oil and then crank it and see if the pressure builds up I'm not gonna put any of the covers back on just to make sure and I need to finish it up underneath I took the oil pan off but everything looks good over here I took the oil cooler off I took the um, part of the header off now I am thinking I did I did order a pan oil pan from an O2 to O4 WRX from the 2.0 engine the EJ25 the EJ2020 uh, I bent my oil pan here this is fixable that's not a big issue but I may have an issue with the WRX pan because it has a smaller hole here so I don't know if that pickup tube will fit in here so this one goes in like that so but it's on its way it's just it's supposed to be here today all right a little update oil pump is back on timing is done but I'm still I, I got the oil pan from the O2 between O2 and O4 WRX it is bigger you can see the STI has this um, kind of a dent here and this doesn't so this will hold an extra quart of oil which is which is good but there's a problem the buffles inside are in the way so the pickup tube sits right about here in the stock oil pan and here you can see the top buff there's two buffles both are in the way the top one it would need some cutting right here that's probably what I'm going to do I'm gonna cut it because I really want this oil pan uh, to work I'm gonna cut this top baffle right about here somewhere and then uh, get to the bottom one all right guys that is it for this one in the next video we're gonna finish modifying hacking the oil pan you'll see what I mean in the next episode also I'm actually gonna install the Cobb flex fuel kit and as always like subscribe dislike comment do something and i'll see you soon